As I have told you earlier that output devices are the devices through which we can see the output. Well, as I have told you earlier that our computer works on a very simple IPO process where it takes the input, processes it and then generates the output. Well, when it generates the output, then for displaying that output, it needs some special devices and these special devices are termed as the output devices. So generally for the output purpose, either we use a monitor or a printer or a plotter, fine. We have also some other devices like we can use a projector also, we can use a speaker also, fine. And so many other devices as per our requirement. In the previous class, we have discussed about the monitors where I have told you that monitor is a screen or a display where we can see our data. Generally, the data that we see in a display is termed as our soft copy format and this display is made up of some small dots and these dots are termed as pixels. Then we have discussed about five categories. These five categories were CRT, LCD, Plasma, Touchscreen and OLED TV or that is OLED monitors also. Fine. Well, I have found that some of you were having the doubts with Plasma and OLED monitors. So, in this video, we have to discuss these two categories in detail and then we have to discuss about the remaining output devices. Now, let's begin. First, we have to revise the concept of cathode ray tube. Well, I have told you this earlier that this concept of cathode ray you will learn in class 11 or class 12th in detail because this working of this cathode ray is not a proper part of computer, it's a part of physics. But still, I can give you a gist of this. Generally, in these old monitors or in these old televisions, there was a picture tube inside this. Fine. It has a carbon tube or a picture tube and this carbon tube was generally used to produce light and display the output to the user. Fine. In this picture tube, there was an electron gun which was fixed at the back of this particular picture tube. Fine. In this electron gun, there was an element or a material. When the electron or the electricity charge is uh, produced, then this material gets heated and it starts emitting the electrons. So, when these electrons strike over this particular display, then the display starts glowing. Fine. And for the path of this electron beam, we have these deflecting coils over here and these deflecting coils generally deflect the beam in the various parts of the display. Now, the display of this type of monitor or television was made up of a fluorescent or a phosphorus material. Fine. It was a tricolor display which has colors like red, green and blue. And with the help of these three red colors, it can produce up to 256 different different color combinations. So that's it. Fine. Well, these televisions were cheaper in compared to the other televisions. Fine. But the problem was that because these televisions were big in size, they were using a glass picture tube. That's why it was very difficult to handle them. And sometimes these televisions can easily be damaged if it get hurt. Fine. So that's why it was very difficult task to maintain them. Now next is LCD or liquid crystal display. Well, it is the most popular television type or a display type nowadays. You can find this in your mobile phones, in your smart gadgets, in your laptops, in your homes. Fine. It is everywhere with us right now. And the best thing is that it is a very light material. And it has a good picture quality in compared to the CRT monitors. Fine. Well, this LCD contains a TFT or a thin film transistor. Fine. It has a liquid or a liquid crystal inside this. Fine. This liquid crystal gets charged and then start glowing. And then it has a thin film transistor. This thin film transistor is generally used to produce the white light in the display. Well, for the detail discussion of this part, you can watch the previous video also. Next, we have plasma monitors. Well, plasma monitors or plasma display panels are the flat panel display. Fine. These panel technologies or these plasma technologies utilize small cells containing electrically charged ionized gases across the face of a plasma display. These monitors are similar to the LCD monitors, but the only difference is that in the LCD monitors, there was a liquid crystal, but in this plasma monitor, instead of a liquid crystal, it has some gases which are filled in the chambers. Fine. And when these gas chambers get the electricity or the ions, 
then it starts glowing fine and at the back of this particular gas chamber or this uh, gas cell there was a lightning material which generally produces the light well these monitors can show a better picture quality in compared to a lcd or a led monitor but the problem is that these monitors are generally very heavy they consume a lot of power and compared to the lcd or led monitor and their expenses are very high fine these are very costly and very difficult to care also next we have touch screen monitors well touch screen monitors you all might have seen in your phones fine or in your smart gadgets fine these are generally some touch sensitive monitors that we can touch and then we can do a work then next we have this oled or this organic light emitting display monitors fine this oled tv is a type of led tv it is a type of light emitting diode but it is made in such a way that it can be easily converted into various forms this oled monitor is a flexible material fine this oled monitor is made up of flexible material that can be transformed into various shapes fine and the best thing is that we can also wear this particular material so nowadays you might have seen some smart gadgets like some smart t-shirts or some smart caps in which they have a wallpaper effect and the wallpaper continuously continuously changes so for that purpose we can use this oled television and this oled display is also used as a wall painting or a wallpaper well this technology is very costly nowadays and it has a better picture quality than crt or lcd but the problem is that the life span of this monitor is very low in compared to the other monitors which are available in the market next we have to discuss about printer our first topic of this class is printer a most convenient and useful method by which the computers can deliver information is means of printed characters generally the copy or the computer copy of a document that we can see in our display that copy is not a physical copy it means you cannot hold that document in your hands and that's why this copy is also termed as a soft copy when we print a computer copy that is soft copy in a paper then it is termed as a hard copy and for converting this soft copy into the hard copy we can use this printer generally we have two types of printers available in the market these two categories are impact printers and the non impact printers impact printers in these printers there is a mechanical contact between the print head and the paper the most commonly used examples of impact printers are dot matrix and daisy wheel printer well you all might have seen or heard about the typewriters in the typewriters there is a mechanical contact between the print head and the paper so that typewriter is a type of daisy wheel printer fine so the printing technology which is used in a typewriter is termed as daisy wheel printing next we have dot matrix printer in this dot matrix printer it prints everything with the help of some tiny dots generally you have seen that the electricity bill that we get fine after paying the amount that bill is generally printed by using a dot matrix printer in that bill you can easily found those dots and these tiny dots are generally used to form the characters sentences words and images also fine the biggest problem with these two categories is that the printers of these two categories are only used for printing the words or sentences these printers cannot print graphics or media fine next category we have non impact printer the printers that we are using in our home these printers are generally the examples of non impact printers in these printers there is no mechanical contact between the print head and the paper fine the best thing is that in these printers they have high speed these are cost effective and they have better print quality fine along with that these non impact pr printers doesn't produce any kind of sound also fine in the impact printer there was a very big drawback these impact printers fine these impact printers were very slow as well as while we are printing something by using these printers they also create a loud noise in compared to the non impact printers well the most commonly used non impact printers are laser printer thermal printer and ink jet printer fine so here we have example of a laser printer fine this laser printer is generally used when we have to print something in a bulk and the ink of this laser printer is not permanent in nature fine generally these laser printers are used in the photocopies you all might have seen that whenever we fold a paper of a photocopy the ink of that paper gets faded next we have thermal printer the thermal printer 
uses the concept of heat to stick the ink in the page. Then next we have ink jet printer. Well, generally for getting a better picture quality and for printing the colorful documents, the printers that we use are ink jet printers. In these ink jet printers, the printing is slow in compared to the laser or thermal printers, but the picture quality and the color quality is much better in compared to the other printer qualities. Next we have plotter. Well, just now we were discussing about the printers. We use printer when we have to print some handy documents or some small pages. Fine. Now let's suppose you want to print a banner or a poster. Fine. Or a hoarding. For printing the banners, posters or hoardings, we use a different kind of printing device and that special kind of printing device is termed as plotter. Fine. You all might have seen that on roadsides we have some banners, we have some posters. Fine. So all these banners and posters can be printed by using this plotter. Fine. This plotter is generally used for printing maps, for printing big blueprints. Fine. These are also used for printing the designs of the machines and the architectural designs also. Fine. So a plotter is a printer designed for printing vector graphics. Here this vector graphics term is very important. This term vector means line. Fine. This term vector means line. So these plotters can print everything line by line. It means it will print everything line by line. Fine. So instead of printing individual dots on the paper, plotter draw continuous lines. Fine. So it means it is not drawing anything with the help of dots. It is using some continuous lines to draw the images. Fine. This make plotter ideal for printing art architectural blueprints engineering designs and other CAD. CAD means computer aided design drawings. Fine. So it means all the designs which are made by using computers, some big posters, banners, maps, blueprints, fine engineering designs, architectural designs, everything can be printed by using a plotter. We have two types of plotters which are used mainly. These two categories are drum plotter and flatbed plotter. This drum plotter is something like this. Fine. So over here we have example of a drum plotter. In this drum plotter we have a drum inside this and in this drum the paper is generally rolled to print the image. Fine. So drum plotter spin the paper back and forth of the cylindrical drum while the ink pens move left and right. Fine. So the printing head of this plotter moves from left to right to print the image. By combining these two directions, lines can be drawn in any direction. Fine. Next we have flatbed. So as you can see over here, this printer is termed as flatbed printer. In this flatbed printer, you can see this particular part. Fine. You are able to see this particular part. In this part, this section is a print head. It has various pens of different colors. Fine. So when this print head moves in a page, fine. Generally, this print head moves from left to right in a page and then it draws the lines. Fine. So these flatbed plotters have a large horizontal surface on which the paper is placed. Fine. It's a very big bad like or a table like surface where a paper is placed and then this rotator or this writing head moves on the page. Fine. Next we have speakers. Well, speakers are the most useful devices nowadays. Fine. Whether you are listening music, you are watching TV or you are doing any other stuff in which the sound is required. We must have speakers in our mobile phones or in our televisions or in our computers. Fine. So these speakers are some special device. These devices will receive the electric current from the sound card and then it will convert it into the sound format. Fine. So here are some images of speaker also. Next we have projector. Fine. So just now we have discussed about the monitor, printer, plotter and speaker and now we have to discuss about this projector term. Fine. This projector is just like a monitor. But the difference is that in a monitor, we had one display. In this projector, we don't have any display, but we have a source from where some light will be produced. Fine. So generally, this projector is an output device that can take the display of a computer screen and project a large vision of it onto a flat surface. Fine. For example, uh, whenever we visit, we visit a movie hall, in the movie halls, we have a very big display where we watch a movie. Fine. So basically, they don't, they don't have a big monitor or they don't have a big LED or LCD panel. Fine. They have a good projector which 
projects the image in that particular large area fine so for projecting our images or display in a large surface we use a projector fine projectors are of often used in meetings and presentations to help make sure everyone in the room can view the presentation 